I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. John Cake this is new today's tip and challenge of the day. Well, maybe not tip, probably. So, today for March, Thursday the 18th, is if you find yourself rushing, make an effort to slow down. Um, tip, like always, might be the same as last time. Wear your mask, people! Wear them! Okay, bye, I'm good. Women who did amazing things. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're working on our skills. Yeah, we already sing. Ooh, yeah! We can act. Romeo, Romeo, where art thou, Romeo? I'm over here, Julie! I mean, I ought here, Juliet. Once we learn how to dance, we'll be a triple threat. That's a person who can act, sing, and dance. That's why I'm wearing this hat, because my moves are fire. That's cool. But did you know Josephine Baker was a quadruple threat? What you talking about, mama? She was a singer, an actress, a dancer, and a spy. <gasps> a spy? Her story starts out rough, but it gets better. Josephine was born in St. Louis, Missouri in 1906. Her family didn't have much, so she started working as a maid when she was eight years old and later became a waitress. Josephine did not have a home, so she slept on the street and even had to look for food in garbage cans. That's terrible. Josephine had a tough childhood, but dancing gave her joy. By the time she was a teenager, Josephine was a great dancer, singer, and actress. A triple threat. When she was 15, she moved to New York and began working as an entertainer. At 19 years old, she moved to Paris, France, where she became one of the most famous entertainers in Europe. Josephine bought a big home in France and adopted 12 children from several different countries. So even though she had a tough childhood, she adopted 12 kids so they could have it better. She also had a lot of pets, including a chimpanzee named Ethel and a cheetah named Chiquita. That's different, but what about the spy stuff? Well, during World War II, Josephine became a French spy. Since she was so famous, Josephine would travel all around Europe to perform at big events. She delivered secret messages about where the enemy troops were located using invisible ink on her sheet music. Her messages helped the French and Americans win the war. Josephine was a singer, actor, dancer, and a spy. A quadruple threat. She returned to the United States to speak out against businesses that would not serve people with brown skin. She also refused to perform for segregated audiences where people from different races could not sit together. Josephine was also the only woman who spoke at the 1963 March on Washington, where Martin Luther King gave his I Have a Dream speech. She was a quintuple threat, an actor, a singer, a dancer, a civil rights leader, and a spy. Hey, where's your brother? Who's this brother you speak of? Okay, it's obviously you. No, it's not. I'm a spy. Don't tell anyone I said that. Me too. Your secret is safe with me. Do, do, do. Let's talk. Josephine Baker had a very tough childhood, but grew up to become a successful woman. What does that tell you? Even though Josephine had many challenges as a child, dancing gave her joy. What gives you joy when life gets tough? Josephine spoke up to make sure everyone is treated fairly. How can you help others who are not treated fairly?